Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robot with Stupendous. So I just did a warm-up round with this uh, random junk I'm running, as you can see here. <laughs> and uh, it actually ended up being on this map, and we got steamrolled. So <laughs> that was cool. And I'm, I'm so glad that we got this map again. So <laughs> we really need to get in here. Hopefully that Ragaka on my team, hopefully he runs straight up. So this is Beacon Rush. Um, but yeah, hopefully he runs straight to center. I think I'll be I'm gonna head straight to center as well But I'm gonna take the bridge that way That way um, I, I have better access to firing angles for attacking these guys as they're coming in looks like we've got an enemy Ragaka moving in here as well But anyway, yeah, so everything I have in right now um, every single item is a subscriber request so um, the, I'm, I'm trying to knock him out because I've, I've been getting so behind on him since I haven't been able to upload consistently lately and, and many other things like I feel bad. So I, I threw in um, I threw in the top five currently most requested plus the golem one, which was not like it's not in there because it was most requested. I just thought it'd be funny and it's actually not half bad. I've, I've done a few rounds with it. Um, and I was I did some recording the other day, but the recordings kept getting jacked up and stuff I'm not entirely sure what the deal was, but um, But yeah, so I had to trash like a whole I, I think I had so I did two two double sessions in a row um, So I, I did the first one and it was good and I checked the footage and I was like crap It's all choppy and I didn't want to upload that. So I don't know. Hopefully it's okay. Um, I, I Recorded the first one. I didn't do commentary or anything. I recorded the last one on Yamato just um, as a test and it looks like we're okay. So <laughs> keep your fingers crossed people. Otherwise, I'm talking to an empty room again <laughs> Which is amazing So let's actually move in here. We'll move in until um, We're close to his magnum range, but then we're doing enough damage anyway So the the carnage tempest so this one is in a, a few people requested it and then I, I think it was last week someone was saying that it's not worth running the tempest on a like on a car carnage running <laughs> on a carnage on a carnage um, because it doesn't do enough damage and honestly the the carnage is my is my favorite one like even since recent updates and and whatever um, I I still think it's incredibly effective uh, and I don't know beacon rush isn't the best place to um, to showcase it I guess but domination is just so lame these days <laughs> um, yeah I actually the the next set of hangers I uh, the, sorry, the next hanger that I'm putting in is going to be um, some long-range stuff, and I'll, I will be doing some domination, and I'm kind of not looking forward to it. Um, I, I usually love, like, I love domination. If we get a smaller map, like, I, I love it still, because you have to think a lot more. Oh, I just realized that dude is looking at me. Dang it. <laughs> Did you guys see him? You're probably looking at him. You guys are probably like, Stu, what are you doing? You're so dumb. Move, move, move. <laughs> oh, dang it. Yeah, if I... If I had been paying any attention to that dude, <laughs> I might have been able to get behind this pillar before um, he's able to do anything to me. So I'm trying to stay over here. It looks like he's still not facing me, that Fujin, but I just don't want to risk it. So, oh nice, this guy's in the open. And we got my Tempest back now. So I started firing before coming around the corner just so I could uh, get the, uh, the fast fire rate going as quickly as possible. But, uh, yeah, we, we popped off a... A tempest anyway, so I don't know. I don't know how much good we actually just did a uh, getting that rolling So let's see if we can I don't know I, I want to keep pressuring these guys while I'm up here in this position I want to do as much damage as I can. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna get taken out. Oh, yeah, there's fury zoo So I'm gonna get taken out right now. <laughs> I just wanted to deal as much damage as I could there there are times when you want to jump out of a bot that um, you know that's that damage so that you can move in and move in but Honestly, I'm not optimistic about this round. I mean, ever since Beacon Rush got put in, you guys know how <laughs> how strongly I feel that this map should be removed from the Beacon Rush playlist because it's rare that you can, like, especially in higher level play, but like in in any level of play since I've been playing at everything, um, like at all leagues and levels and stuff, um, it's really really hard to win this. Like, <laughs> like I would say. There's only been, probably since Beacon Rush came out, there's only been like five times when we haven't had this and we came back for a win. And probably four of those were with my clan. <laughs> and 
Uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Whoever gets center, it's like very, very likely that they'll win. I, I just, I really think that they ought to take this out ASAP from Beacon Rush. But anyway, yeah, so this this one was requested. Oh, I should have taken down the name for this one. It's like the story of my life with this. I should just stop saying it. <laughs> but um, anyway, we'll, we'll, get a, we'll, we'll get him in the next round. This is going to be a double recording, so <laughs> we'll, we'll have to do better in the next round. I was just, I wanted to... I don't know, <laughs> I guess, see if we can move in or at least take some pressure, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm not super hopeful. It doesn't seem like my, so besides a couple of my teammates, it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to move in too far. Everyone keeps getting taken out too fast or they're standing back. So I don't know. I'm not super hopeful, <laughs> but anyway, hopefully we don't get yam again. I mean, it wouldn't be out of the ordinary for me to get it like five times in a row. Like I seriously get this map all the time. Some of you guys tell me like, yeah, I get the moon map all the time or I get this all the time, but yeah, you out. <laughs> I get this map all the time. It doesn't matter what mode I'm in. <laughs> it's usually beacon rush, but it doesn't matter. Like once I get it once, like I swear there's something in the water, I get it over and over again. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, anyway, it's getting lit up by geckos here for no reason. So let's uh, move behind cover. Um, is that guy? Oh, I was thinking that guy was, uh, <laughs> was, uh, up on the platform. I was, like, confused. I was like, where is he? Is he, like, secret and invisible and stuff? He's like a ninja. But he wasn't. I'm just stupid. Like, S-T-E-W-P-I-D. Um, hopefully we can get this guy. Nice, we were able to get him. But then they took us out. Actually, he took me out, I think. It looked like I was taken out by a Tehran. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Did you guys see that? Maybe I'm just going crazy. I swear I just saw someone behind me. Like freaking me out. Oh yeah, you like that? Right in the gap. It's so annoying being on this bridge when you're in a giffin. <laughs> in a giffin. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk. <laughs> cannot talk right now. <laughs> but, yeah, this bridge in a in a griffin. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's annoying because that that jump it's it's not quite as useful as it usually is <laughs> out in the open. I kind of wish that both bridges had had this like covering thing. I'm not sure why they don't. Um, I just feel like they both should i don't know <laughs> maybe it help in other like other game modes and settings and stuff oh i played on ios earlier uh, just to see what beacon rush or not beacon rush domination was like uh down there in diamond and it was just as bad as it is in champion on android <laughs> except you know instead of like trebuchets tempests and tridents um it was all like zeniths and noricums and hydras and spirals it was insane I actually recorded it. Maybe I'll share it. <laughs> but yeah, not uh, yeah. They, Pixonic really has to get their crap together as far as balancing the game because domination, as far as I'm concerned, is totally ruined, and many other aspects of the game too. But uh, but yeah, domination is completely jacked. That I loved playing domination before. Um, yeah, I knew we weren't gonna win this one. I loved playing domination before, even when Beacon Rush came out. You guys knew that. Uh, it's just. I don't know. I liked it. It was exciting, but yeah, now these days, like you really can't do too much with it. But anyway, let's, um, let's jump into another round. We'll, <laughs> we'll see if we can get another map and, and do better. We really need to feature this golem a little bit more. So let's, uh, let's do another beacon rush. I was thinking of maybe doing a domination since we've got a couple long range things in, but I just really don't want to, but, oh, nice short. <laughs> no. <laughs> why <laughs> maybe I won't share this with you guys <laughs> oh, maybe I'll just can this one I, I don't know if I do I, I apologize that it's Yamanta both times at least it's beacon rush but we've got to move in there so I'm going to I was going to go around the other side of the bridge but I decided not to I'm trying to see what this guy's doing it looks like he's going to go for the side beacon but yeah originally I was going to go over to the bridge but I was like man I to be able to utilize the tempest more I really wanted to be over here. We really need to drop down like ASAP so we don't get nailed by those trebs. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Move it, move it, move it. Oh, he shot somebody else, sweet. <laughs> Excelente, oh nice. See, and now, so we've got guys sprinting towards center with fast stuff. Like that's, your, that's the only way you win this and having more people there the better because if they've got people coming in, they got one guy, two guys, that's no bueno. You don't want that. But yeah, if you got a few guys coming up on it, it's very likely, even if they do flip it right there, it's very likely that you can take the beacon back. And that's like the only time you can take it back unless you mech out the other team. 
which like I said only pretty much happens with my clan or if I'm randomly with another clan holy Hannah see that guy's butt just drop right on my brain <laughs> you're fat man you're fat <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I hate it. I, I don't know about you guys. Call me old-fashioned, but it really bothers me when, like, a three-story robot drops on my brain. I don't know. Call me weird. Call me what you will. Drop the hate in the comments, but I just don't like it. You know? <laughs> anyway, I'm on one tonight. I don't know what's going on. So, I'm just going to keep poking my my Tempest up over the, the, uh, the platform here. We'll try to stay as low as we can, and then we can uh, pair Ansel shields up with this guy over here. I'm trying to keep my firing state going here. And I was, I was actually trying to switch targets there in the uh, target lock. It wasn't working like I wanted it to. So, actually, let's slide this way so we don't get hit by those trebs. <laughs> I uh, I was just strafing around to the right there. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, he's shooting somebody else. Oh, <laughs> he was waiting for me. Did you see that? He's smart. You are a smart boy. Mahalo's family. Blue punch bubble. You guys seen Lulu and Stitch? It's a fun movie. I like it. Alright, let's uh let's move back, maybe. Actually, let's see if we can move up. We're almost done with this carnage anyway. I kinda wanna get out of it. So since we have a hold of the center beacon, I mean I I can almost guarantee that we're gonna win this round. <laughs> um, so that's good. At least there's that going for us. And yeah, we'll just keep hitting the Tempest and everything, but yeah, so remember, if you do have Tempest or a Tempest, remember that you're going to be doing, um, probably the most good you can do with a Tempest is between four and 500 meters. Outside of five, the bullet, the cone of fire, the bullet spread, it really starts to become too great, so you're still able to do like solid damage, and if you have someone approaching you, or if you're approaching an area, still do damage to people as you're moving in, you know, use that maximum range to your advantage, but... Uh, make sure that, you know, keeping in mind, if you really want to deal solid damage, you need to move up. So, like, with this guy, for example, that's moving up right now, I'll do what I can from right here. But without uh, without moving up, there's really no point in doing, um, in uh, dealing tons, of, or dumping an entire clip anyway. I'm trying to talk. I can't words because of the brain. So, uh, I'm about to get taken out. There goes that Fuji. That Fuji got me. All right, so let's drop into this thing. Let's see. <laughs> let's see what we can do. So I originally kind of I giggled inside um, when the person asked me to do this one, and I had actually done this before. Um, I had put this same build in before, and it was another batch of stuff where it just wasn't working. Like I don't know if it was like problems with my phone after I installed a new uh, Android update on it or or what, but. Uh, I ended up having to can a bunch of footage. I actually had some really good footage with this build um, And it only took me a couple rounds to get it like it wasn't like I was in there <laughs> You know over and over try you know trying to make it work. It was actually working decently um, Even on like short maps and stuff like my, my best round is on power plant And I had this thing in for like four minutes and I was wrecking people <laughs> it, was, it was working out pretty well um, But yeah, so for for whoever asked this since I didn't look it up um, what I found with it, so th that was a couple weeks ago. I think it, I think it's the same person. I think you're the same one that asked me to run it before. Um, but what you want to make sure you're doing is staying outside of 500 meters, and the majority of the people that I'm targeting end up being uh, like mid-range bots. But then I'm supporting my team um, attacking the brawler, so I'm trying to keep that <laughs> that fury out of. Dang it! <laughs> I have 167 health. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if we can just keep zapping this dude, and we'll just keep an eye on that Fury. I was trying to get behind the, the pillar there. But, yeah, the bulk of what I do with this build, I do um, I do between 4 and 500, or just over 5 if I'm if I'm going against, like, a mid-range build or something. Um, since that guy's... Oh, he's jumping. Dang it! Oh, man, I wasn't paying attention. I, I was switching targets there, so I'd, I'd stop paying attention to that Fury Zeus over there. <laughs> I've had a couple of you were watching him still though, and you're like, Stu, you're dumb. And I was like, I know. And then you were like, yeah, and I was like, uh-uh. So let's just keep uh, strafing back and forth here. We got a couple of teammates we can kind of uh, phase in and out with. And uh, a couple <laughs> couple of Ancelots here pushing me around. So we'll just keep uh, going back and forth, popping in and out of this guy's shield. We should have probably taken out that guy with low health, but... While I'm over here, I figured 
Why not? Oh, that guy got taken out. So did that guy. Alright, so... Oh, we got Zet. Right? Yeah, Zeus. That's what took me out. Down there in the bottom. That guy did get me. But anyway, yeah, so in the, this one, the Aphid Orc and Griff, I used to run it quite a bit more. I haven't been running it as much um, since the last Aphid nerf. But um, but yeah, so I figured I'd throw it in. Um, I had, there was only two people who had requested it, but I kind of missed it. And so I was like, yeah, I'll throw it in. And this map, really, it's, it's not going to be a good one to talk about, like, <laughs> or, or to showcase, like, different things you can do with it. But, I mean, basically, the, the setup works so well. Um, because with, uh, with the timing of the aphids and the orkins, you can dump a full clip of orkins and then you can fire, um, so you can fire a round of aphids in between while your orkins are recharging. Cause it's going to take you, um, over 20 seconds for your clip of orkins to fully reload. And with the uh, aphids, you got 10 seconds per clip to, to reload it. Is that it? I think we made it. Woo. Victory. No, we didn't. Premature victory. <laughs> Premature victory dance get him um but anyway yeah so the big thing to watch out for is is just making sure you're utilizing the aphids you can fire from behind cover with them so use that cover time to let your orkins recharge all the way and dish out huge damage um more and more and more just using it like that and pairing them together that's how you're going to deal big damage with this one setup using the advantage that the aphids provides you provides you to shoot from behind cover and then using your orkins um in a big way later so Anyway, well, hopefully, <laughs> I think I will post it, but hopefully you guys liked it. If you like to smash the thumbs up button.